Hey y'all! I went to Walmart today and I also went to Dylan's, my Kroger affiliate. Um, I picked up some super great deals and I want to share them with you. I was working with a $5 when you do, I think, 18 rebates on my weekend wear. And I'm also working towards that July fireworks bonus. I did finish my weekend wear in this one. And I want to show you guys what I got so that you can get the same super awesome deals. I will tell you that um, some of these cost me money because I was getting like things that we need for our house. But if you want to see what I got and how much it cost me, stay tuned. Okay, we're going to start with Dylan's, uh, my Kroger affiliate, because I only picked up two things there. I actually went to get the Nerds Gummy Clusters, and the app said that they had them, and I could not find them. So I didn't even get those, but I did get two other things. I picked up the Barilla Chickpea Pasta. This is $2.49 in my store. I had a dollar off um, Catalina coupon that printed last time I went. And I actually got another one this time so I can show you what it looks like. There's that. It actually printed my barcode really weird. I did this on the other one too. So she had to manually type it in, but it was fine. So I had that dollar off. There's also a 75 cent off on coupons.com, the app, if uh, you don't have a dollar coupon. So either way, super great. I think there's a digital too, but I already used it. Uh, then there's a dollar on Ibotta and a dollar on Kroger Cashback. That makes this a 51 cent money maker. And then the other thing I picked up, and I actually grabbed this because I forgot to get it while I was at Walmart. So I went ahead and picked it up at Dylan's, was the Buttig lunch meat, and I did get five of them. There's five. These were 69 cents, and um, I didn't have any printable coupons, so I did use the dollar from the coupons.com app, dollar off five, and then there's a dollar off of five on Ibotta. I do believe that there's a dollar um, off of four on the Buttig website, but it doesn't really matter which one you use because you're going to have to buy five if you're using the Ibotta. So 69 cents each, and then I got $2 back, making those $1.45 for all five of those. It's not too bad. That was it at Dylan's. If you can find the Nerds Gummy Clusters, they are free. Get five of them. Uh, you get 50 cents back on Kroger Cashback and 50 cents back on Ibotta up to five times. You get those completely free. And my son is getting ready to have his birthday party, and we're doing a movie night theme, so I was hoping to get those for his little concession stand, but it's okay. I don't mind paying 50 cents for them at Walmart or Walgreens, where I can use my Walgreens cash, so I'll probably just end up doing that. All right, um, so that was it for Dylan's. Uh, my total was $5.94. I had the one coupon for the Barilla, um, and then after rebates, it brought my cost to $1.17. So not too terrible. Okay, moving on to Walmart. This is an awesome deal, you guys. These spin brushes are $7.88. And yeah, $7.88. You pick up two of them and um, you can get $20 back on swag bucks and you can get $20 back on um, inbox dollars. And then you get 3,400 points on my points, which is actually 2138. So I purchased six of these on separate receipts. Um, I actually did these before we finished shopping for the rest of the stuff because I wanted to get these submitted before they knocked that down. Um, so that made six of these toothbrushes, not only free, but a $14.01 money maker. I will take it. That is an awesome deal. If you do nothing else, do these. Oh, before I forget, because I always do, don't forget to subscribe so that you can um, see all these awesome deals when I post them and hit the notification bell so that it will tell you immediately because things like this don't last very long. So you want to know about that 
as soon as it is available. Okay, I picked up the Harry's Shave Gel. This is $5.97. And then Shopkick is giving back 1,500 kits. There's also Scan Kicks, but I've done this previously, so mine hadn't reset. So that made, that was $6 back for me, which made this a three cent money maker. And it looks like pretty good shave gel. I haven't tried it yet, but we'll see. I took some of that overage that I have from the spin brushes and I picked up some sunscreen. We are outside a lot in the summer. Um, my kiddo does camps and they're outside a lot of his camps. So picked this up. It is six. Mm, something. $6.97. We have a $2 printable coupon and $2 on Ibotta making this $2.97, which I'm okay with paying. I like the aerosol kind because if he needs to, he can put it on himself and gets it fairly covered. Um, you are still supposed to rub it in, but look, if he can put it on by himself, I grabbed two of the Neutrogena, if it'll focus, there we go, okay. Two of the Neutrogena bars, it's not gonna focus. Uh, these are $3, nope, I'm sorry, $2 and 74 cents. And then there's $3 back on Ibotta up to two times. My store said that there were limited stock left of these, which usually means they are out. But I did find two of them and I actually think there were two more on the shelf. So get $3 back on each one of those, makes them a 52 cent money maker. You can also get the, oh, 52 cent money maker. Yeah, for both of them. You can also get um, other Neutrogena products they have ones that are like five fifty or a little bit less and then there's a three dollar coupon that would make sense it's a little bit of a cost there's a three dollar coupon or a two dollar coupon and then the i bought a rebate so pick what you want do the math i got those because they were a money maker i don't use these anyway i don't use neutrogena products next i picked up the poise pads these are two for 68. Uh, we have $3 off coupons from a recent insert. I haven't really been buying inserts. Um, I feel like I have so much in my stockpile that I don't need to spend the extra money on inserts. Um, so I've just been going with printable coupons and digital coupons and it's been working out fine for me. So there's also $3 printable coupons. Now I will tell you the printable coupons because I tried to scan it are not scanning. They're not being rejected. It's just acting like it's not even a coupon. So you can have them push it through. I didn't mess with it today. Um, the lady that was at self-checkout isn't a super huge fan of couponers, so I didn't want to push it. I just went ahead and did the $3 on the coupons.com app. It works out the same. So I grabbed these, used that $3, or I submitted for that $3 back on the coupons.com app and then $2 back on Ibotta, which made these a 32 cent money maker. And you can do this up to two times. If you wanna mess with that coupon, great. Get your extra 32 cents. I didn't wanna mess with it. That was it for um, the like household stuff. So I used the overage that I got from the household items other than the sunscreen that we needed anyway to get some food items that we needed for our house. Um, I picked up the Mott's Mighty Applesauce. We actually got one of the strawberry peach and one of the regular apple. These are great for lunch boxes and I don't know about where you guys are, but here all of our summer camps require you to pack a lunch, which is fine. Some, I mean, during the school year before they were doing free meals for everyone. I was packing lunches anyway, sometimes just because we didn't like what was on the menu. But these are great for lunch boxes. They are $1.98. There's a dollar back on Ibotta. And then if you do the rebate two times, you get a bonus, which we'll talk about at the end. But I think it's like 50 cents, maybe 75 cents. But with just the dollar back, that makes the two of these $1.96 or 93 cents 
ingredients each, which I think is great for six cups of applesauce. And I don't know. These seem better than some other ones. There's no high fructose corn syrup or anything, which is what we really try to avoid. Um, I'm personally allergic to high fructose corn syrup. So, and it's not really great for you. So we try to steer clear. But yeah, those seem good. Um, we grabbed the Jet Puff. These are, so this is the 16 ounce, maybe. There you go, 16 ounce. Um, they are $1.76. There's a dollar back on Ibotta for the 16 ounce. There's also um, a dollar back on two for the 12 ounce. But I went ahead and did the 16 ounce because when you submit to Shopkick, you can only do it one time. So Shopkick is giving back 150 kicks, which is 60 cents. So that made this one bag 16 cents. That's a good deal, I think. Now, I said I was getting things that I needed for my house. I don't need these Oreos either. What are you gonna do? Okay, so I picked up two of the Dynasty Oreos. This deal just keeps on resetting. And then I picked up, and we'll probably use these at his birthday party. I have a bunch of the Dynasty ones. I also picked up the carrot cake. Guys, I don't know if you've ever tried these, but these taste exactly like carrot cake and they are probably my favorite and it is definitely dangerous to have these in my house because I will try to eat all of them but luckily my husband likes them too so he he gets through them pretty pretty quickly uh 367 times three because I bought three of them and then there is a 367 back when you buy two of the dynasties and then there is a 367 back when you buy a family sized and a dynasty and so one of these dynasties is attaching with this. Gives you both rebates back. That makes those $3.31 or about $1.10 each. is isn't awful. You can find the Dynasty Oreos at your Kroger or Kroger affiliate. They are better price. Um, you can pick up, I think up to five. It might be up to three. You'll have to check your Ibotta and get them for 88 cents because they're on sale this week for $1.88 when you buy three. And then you get a dollar back on Ibotta for each one, 88 cents. So it's a better deal. If you want them, get them there. Um, I think my Dylan's has finally run out of them because I can't find them anymore. But that's okay. Because like I said, we have a ton. And I really just did those because I wanted the carrot cake Oreos. <laughs> and uh, it was another Ibotta rebate. Alrighty. So we've got the Limitless Water again. Um... This one was cheaper than the grapefruit one that I have been drinking, and it sounds okay. We're gonna try it. This was three thirty-eight, and I think the um, grapefruit hibiscus one was like four something. And I'd rather spend less money. And we'll try a new flavor. Um, I got a dollar back on Ibotta and a ten cent back on Ibotta for any sparkling water. I think it's two twenty-eight. I like these. Oh, I don't know if I like these. I like the other limitless ones. I grabbed, ooh, not four, three of the um, Nestle Waters. These were $1.76. No, that's not right. One of these days I'm going to remember all these prices, but probably not anytime soon. $1.67. Um, I had dollar off printables for each one of them and then 75 cents back on three from Ibotta, which made three of them $1.26. And we are going to use these for his birthday party in the concession stand. So I've been stocking up on them, letting him pick all the flavors. It's a great time. All right, last but certainly not least, I really like this deal. Oh, this is not all the stuff. I'm gonna have to go get some more stuff, but we'll talk about this real quick. Um, this is the Wonder Bar Bologna. My son has already opened it. Um, it is $5.98 a pound. So I asked for a quarter of a pound. I ended up getting 0.39, which is fine. Uh, it was $2.36. Then Shopkick is giving back 
600 kicks when you buy it and 10, 10 kicks when you scan it, which is $2.44, which made that bag um, an eight cent money maker. So get however much you want and then just know that you're getting $2.44 back. So that's, there you go. Um, I grabbed the Sara Lee Honey Turkey. Uh, this was seven sixty six a pound, and I asked for half a pound, and I got about a half a pound. It was three ninety eight for this, and Shop Kick is giving back eight hundred kicks when you buy it, and twenty five kicks when you scan it, which is three dollars and thirty cents. That made this package just sixty cents, and I, that's my go to lunch meat, so I'm okay paying sixty cents for that. Okay, I'm gonna pause, and then I will be right back with the other two items that I left in the other room. Okay, I'm back. Um, so I left these in the other room. I actually bought these yesterday, but the deals are still valid, so I want to share them with you. Um, I picked up a Heinz ketchup and a Heinz Cranch. Um, we're doing hot dogs as a birthday party. You don't need to know all this information, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Uh, so that's why I grabbed ketchup and you have to grab the cranch or pickle relish or one of the other weird blended ones, but this was the cheapest. So I grabbed that. Those are the ketchup is two twenty eight, and the cranch was two ninety eight, and then shop kick is giving back 450 kicks for buying both of them, uh, which is $1.80. Uh, that made the two of these three forty six, which, okay. That's not bad. My husband will eat the cranch. And the last thing was the Cinnadust. I have heard this stuff is not good. I haven't tried it yet personally, but these are $3.97 at my store. Um, my points is giving back 1,360 points, which is $8.55, which makes these two a 61 cent moneymaker. And that was everything that I got. So I'm going to um, flip you around and we're going to talk about money. Okay, so here's everything that I got all together. I put my two Dylan's items in there just for simplicity. Um, but at Walmart, my cost or my total before coupons or anything was $115.04. Um, I only had $5 in coupons. So I paid $110.04 out of pocket, which is quite steep. Um, I got back $14.14 .14 from Shopkick. I got back $20 from Swagbucks, $20 from Inbox Dollars, $30.29 from My Points. I got $3 back from the Coupons.com app. I got $22.19 from I bought a rebates and then I also got 75 cents um, for a limitless bonus. So I think it's after you buy three, which I have done, you get 75 cents. I got 50 cents for the Nestle. Again, it's a bonus, so you have to work towards it, but I definitely hit that. And then you get 50 cents for the Mott's and you can do that just buying these two outright. So you'll get your dollar back on each one of them and then 50 cents back for buying two. And then I got $5 Weekend Warrior. Now, um, I don't believe there was 18 rebates here, but I had been working towards it. So just use them. I, I counted it towards this because this is where it hit. Uh, that made my Walmart stuff $6.33 moneymaker, which means the cost for 33 items, which retailed for $120.98, was a $5.16 moneymaker. And I am totally fine with that because, like I said, a lot of this stuff is stuff that I was getting for my house. So it worked out super great for me. And, guys, that's the whole point of couponing. Get those moneymakers like these spin brushes so that you can buy things that you need for your house like the lunch meat or the applesauce or any other items that you need 
All right, y'all, that is all I have for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified next time that I post another Walmart, uh, well, I guess, and Dylan's, or I bought a deal. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.